Damn, I need somebody food stamps. I'm tired of spending my own money. hi you guys welcome back to another day or week of the vlog i don't even know where i'm at anymore y'all like i'm not even gonna lie it's been a minute since i posted but y'all life have been lifing like bro i felt like i'm losing myself like real real deal like i feel like i'm losing myself so I'm about to go grocery shopping and I decided to do my makeup. I decided to look like presentable, to look good, to feel myself. I smell so good, like so, so good. I went to Dillard's and I got the test sample of this one perfume that I'm about to go back for. Not today. I'm not going to go back today, but I am going to go back for it very soon. And it smells so good. I wore it to work. I know I said I was not like... If you're on, if you on my TikTok, then you heard me say I'm not one of those girls that's wear, that wear my expensive perfumes to work. But I had to test it out because I wanted to see, like, if people really feeling it like I'm feeling it. So I wore it to work, and I got so much compliments on it. Like, my patients was feeling it. My coworkers was feeling it. I'm feeling it. Like, girl, I was like, yeah, I'm going back for it. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to go get it. But anyways, I smell good. I look good. I got, I did my little makeup. I did my makeup, no makeup look. Like, I feel good. I'm in a better mood. But, like, those last three weeks, y'all, emotionally, it's been, like, on a roller coaster for me because... I just felt like I was just having so much changes in my life and I felt like unease. I felt like I had too much going on. I felt like I was just losing control. Like I felt like I didn't have no control over anything. Like everything was just going so fast. And it's just like every time I think I got a hold on something, something else comes and then they just switched the whole dynamic up it was just so much y'all like it was just so 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 much and i was just like bro i cannot do this like it's like it was so frustrating and it was a lot to deal with emotionally like i just i couldn't i couldn't i couldn't i was just like dang bro like what do i do I got school that just started. School was kicking my butt. Like, it was so much. The first week of school was so much assignments. I had, like, over 10 assignments to do. And I have two classes. So, it's probably, like, five for each class that I had to do. And I'm talking about lengthy, like, assignments. Not just, like, here and there, little things to do. I'm talking about, like full-blown assignments to do on the first week for, for for both classes so that was a lot to get um done and then also i'm officially on my own now i'm no longer in training at work so now it's like i'm trying to balance of learning how to be a nurse getting my groove um like find my role like how do i do things because I've been doing things the way other people do it which sometimes I didn't agree with but hey I'm in training I couldn't say anything or do anything about it but now that I'm on my own I have that I have that a little bit of freedom to pick and choose like how I want to work you know what I'm saying and um how I want my night to go and it's like I know it sounds simple, but it was kind of hard because like now I'm on my own. I'm taking care of these patients by myself now and everything is like literally on me and I work in the ICU if you don't know. So I don't have a tech. Everything is on me. If the patient wants something very simple, like a glass of not a glass, but a cup of water, I get it from emergency situations. I handle it like everything is me, me and me. And granted, this is the specialty that I chose. So I'm it's not that I'm complaining, I'm venting. So, um, it was just so, 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 so much. And then, like, it was just, it was just a lot, y'all. It was just a lot going on. And then my personal life was just, like, I felt like my personal life was just going downhill, too. Everything was just, like, so much for me. And I'm like, dang, when it rains, it pours. Like, it was pouring for me the last three weeks. Emotionally, it was pouring for me. 
for the last three weeks and it was a lot to deal with but thank god we got through it we're good now so i am able to um maintain now i'm i'm in a better place um that's why i made a mission of mine today i'm like you know what i'm gonna get up i'm gonna look cute i'm gonna smell good and i'm gonna go out and i'm gonna do something and the only thing that i have to do right now is groceries yesterday was thursday and i stayed up all day and night doing homework like i woke up since like i want to say eight excuse me i want to say like 8 39 ish till like midnight one i was up doing homework like trying to get everything finished because I just wanted to have today for myself. I was like, today I deserve it. I need to do something. I want to go out. I don't care if it's something so simple. I want to go out. I want to do it. I just, I want to go out. I just want to catch myself again. I, before I lose myself, I want to find myself again. So that's what I'm doing. I decided to get dressed up to go get cute. Um, I wanted to go get my nails done and all that, but, um, it's not possible for me at the moment because um, I have too much to do. Even though I did majority of my homework, I still have to resp reply to a discussion. Because in my class, in my school, they want you to post the discussion one day and then reply the next day. Like, you can't post and reply all in one day. They want it separately done. So, even though I got my two discussion done yesterday, um, it doesn't mean that I'm done like for real i have to do i have more schoolwork to complete so i still have that to do i have to reply to my discussions today i have to do laundry today my sister wants me to go somewhere with her today also last minute so it's like i won't have time to go get my nails done um but they are atrocious like they're so ugly <laughs> my nails are the ugliest thing and don't even my feet is even worse so definitely definitely i need to get my nails done very soon um i'm in a much better place and getting up and showing up for myself today was so important so like if you're in a funk just show up for yourself get up look cute do what you gotta do even though you're not going nowhere i'm not going nowhere but grocery shopping and i still decided to get up dress up get cute smell good and show up for myself and it helps so much like if you look good you feel good and it's not just a saying it's it's like the truth so get up show up for yourself and i'm just like happy that mentally i'm not in that funk anymore like i'm doing much much better so yeah like i'm good i'm good what's up what's up what's up what's up all right all right i'm gonna talk to y'all later once i get to my destination all right, y'all. First thing first, we got to put some gas in the car, you know. <laughs> Be responsible or whatnot. If I can find my card. Okay, I found it. First thing first, I'm going to put gas. I ain't going to lie. My car been doing really good on gas. Like, I ain't going to lie. Like, shout out to my baby. You're a girl. You a good girl. Like, she's been, really, she's been doing really good on gas. I ain't going to lie. Like, I, I haven't been in the gas station as much as I used to in nursing school. Maybe because I was in nursing school and I was broke. I was gonna go to the dollar store because I need something from the dollar store and like I said I don't care how rich I get baby we going to the dollar store every time but it's already 2 31 and my sister have an appointment at 3 and she wants me to go with her so I'm just gonna go ahead to my sister now so we can get going to her appointment and so if we're late she doesn't blame me because she love to blame me for every time we late for something so, ah, you should have been here you should have been here you should have been here why don't you stop telling me stuff last minute babes how about that but yeah, all right, we're gonna head to my sister. I swear, <laughs> a Nissan. I promise you, a Nissan is every bad bitch starter pack. Like, <laughs> I just seen this real pretty girl driving a Nissan. Like, it's every girl starter pack. I have my little Nissan, and it's always a bad bitch driving a Nissan. A young bad bitch driving a Nissan. Like, real. But yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. <sighs> y'all, it is not a good day to get cute. It is literally raining. Uh, it's raining. I'm wet. 
the bottom of my jeans are wet um so i just left walmart let me show y'all like ain't that some shit y'all like at this point the way stuff is going is it really cheaper to eat indoors because i feel like when i go out to eat i spend a lot when i stay at home i spend a lot it's like what 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 could i do i'm tired of eating just damn i need somebody food stamps i'm tired of spending my own money i need to get some food stamps i'm telling you i want some food stamps and i'm not as i would not be ashamed of it like some people be so ashamed to have food stamps not me let me have them food stamps baby let me have them please let me let me have them i'll be so proud to have food stamps i'll go all over the time like i'm sorry i i, I got food stamps i can't relate to the struggle i can't oh five dollars for some eggs I, I i wouldn't know i got food stamps bro you want it all, don't you? So I went ahead and put away my groceries and everything. I'm actually about oh I'm actually about to start cooking now because I didn't eat nothing all day, y'all. Like I woke up, I had one bowl of cereal, and then I left. I just came home not too long ago. I'm starving. This is beyond my fasting time because I stopped eating at five on my off days and six on my um work days. And it's currently 7:43. I'm starving. Like, I have to eat nothing. I literally did not eat nothing but a bowl of cereal all day, y'all. Like, I, I, I'm i not even over-exaggerating. Like, you know how people like, oh, I haven't ate nothing all day, but they ate, like, a small portion of something. I literally did not eat nothing all day. So, um, yeah, I have to eat. I know it's past my, my time, but I have to eat, y'all. Like, I just, I cannot. So, I'm not going to cook with you guys because y'all seen me cook, like, so many times before. I know y'all probably like, girl, we we seen it already. Like, we're not impressed. <laughs> so, I am not going to cook with y'all. I am about to go do um, a quick 30-minute workout because I'm doing 75 hard. And I haven't got my workout in today. So, I'm going to do 30 minutes of workout. I'm actually going to be multitasking. I'm doing laundry right now. I'm cooking and I'm about to do a 30 minute workout. After my 30 minute workout, I'm gonna do some jump ropes, nothing crazy. Um, after my 30 minutes workout, I'm gonna go shower and hopefully the food will be done by then and then I'm gonna be able to eat because I don't wanna eat too, too late either. Like, I wanna eat by nine, before nine if I can. But yeah, and then that's it. That's gonna be my night. Like, this is why it's so difficult for me to vlog because y'all see how crazy my schedule be like. I have so much to do in one day. And I feel like there's not enough time in the day for me to do everything that I need to do. But um, I am going to like try to relax. I'm going to do my little 30 minute workout and I'm going to go shower. And then hopefully dinner, well, my dinner is going to be done. And then that's it for today. I'm going to talk to you guys tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. Welcome to another day of the vlog. Today, y'all, I was supposed to be at church. And I literally woke up so late. I woke up late. And then I didn't even realize how late I woke up. Like, I woke up at 10, I want to say 10, 20 and usually i could still finesse yeah. it like i could Only like um do my but makeup really quick and then like do all that but i don't know today i was just moving really really slow and then i looked at the time it was 12 20. what did i say 12 20. church ends at one o'clock and i'm like what's the point of going 
Anyways, I feel so guilty no, about it. Not. Luckily, my um, church have like a live YouTube streaming thing. So that's what I'm watching right now. But I still feel so not bad because it's like God only asked me one day out of the week to go to church, to be in his presence, to be in his house. And I can't even make myself get up on time to go to church. Like, <sighs> I feel so bad. Like, I feel so bad. Like, as y'all can see, my makeup is done. I was all dressed up. I literally just took my clothes off to come make the video. But I was all dressed up and everything, y'all. And then, like, I didn't even make it to church. Like, I feel so bad. I didn't put an alarm. I thought I could get up. I was like, oh. I'm gonna be able to get up. I'm not that tired. Sorry, I just spit all over y'all. I'm not that tired. I'll be able to get up. I'll be fine. That's my church in the background. I feel so bad. I feel so bad because I feel really guilty because had it been had it been me having to go to work, I would have put an alarm regardless if I felt like, oh, I can get up, I'm not tired, I'm cool. I would have still put an alarm on. Why do I give my job more respect than I give God? Because I would have made sure I went on time. Why? When God is the one who blessed me with a job. I feel so bad. I feel so, so bad, like. Hey, you guys. So, I just got done re-watching my church because I remember I was telling y'all that I miss church. So, I was just re-watching church and um, it resonated with me so much. And I'm happy that I went back and I watched it again because... I needed to hear that like he was just basically preaching about like giving everything to God and um, not being afraid to bring your needs and wants to God nothing is impossible for him to do and nothing is too silly to bring to God no matter how small it is or how pointless you think it is I remember I was telling you guys I'm getting over a funk so I really did need to hear that and just saying like God cares about our needs He's eager to help us. He wants to help us just bring our needs to him. So I was really happy to, um, you know, make sure I went back and rewatched that. But um, I just wanted to, like, you know, talk to you guys a little bit because I feel like I haven't been the most consistent, like, with, like, YouTube or, or anything like that. And although I say this a lot... <laughs> I feel like I haven't been consistent with YouTube in like forever and I haven't been consistent with YouTube since I like since before nursing school I, I want to say I haven't been consistent but I feel like I just want to give you guys quality and if it's not quality then I feel like why am I uploading it because I don't want to just upload videos just to upload videos I want to upload videos that I'm proud of that you guys would want to watch that's entertaining that I would want to watch because if I'm editing and I don't even want to edit it because it's so boring or because it's like blah why would I bring it to the internet to you guys you know you know what I'm saying so I just I'm just trying to focus now on quality videos and not more so rushing just to put things out there anymore like I don't want to just put videos out there I want to put quality videos out there. I just be a lot. Like, I just be feeling like I need a mental health day. Like, it's just emotionally, y'all. Like, I'm just going through a lot. Like, I just, I feel like I'm still trying to get to know what my purpose is in life. I know that God created me for a reason, but I don't know. I don't feel like I'm living in that reason. I don't feel like I'm fulfilling that purpose. Um,. I feel like I feel accomplished but I don't feel fulfilled like I feel like career-wise I picked the right career 
um, and I'm proud of myself for finishing it because we all know nursing and other medical careers is very difficult to get into, to finish, and to graduate from. It's it's a lot, and it takes its toll on you mentally and physically. It does take a toll. Um, so I'm very happy that I finished nursing school, and I'm happy with the career that I chose, but at the same time, I don't feel fulfilled. Like, I feel empty, and I feel like there is more to life that I'm not quite tapping into. And, um... It's so much like changes going on in my life. Like I don't know. I feel like I'm losing myself in a sense. Like I, I don't know. Like with all these changes that's going on, I just I feel so overwhelmed. Um, I feel like I don't have no stability. I feel like every time I think I got it together something comes and then something just changes and then bam i have to readjust like from work um like being a nurse is so draining physically and mentally and i'm just getting started like i just that foot into the career and i already feel like emotionally i'm drained physically i'm drained it's like, you know, people see it and they like, oh, you only work three days a week, 12 hours. It can't be that bad. You have four days off. Majority of Americans work five days, two days off, and you're complaining. It's, it's a lot. Like, you literally have people, lives in your hands. And any mistake that you do, the family will, their family, their loved ones, the law will try to ruin you and they will try to take your license and that will be the last time you practice. What I'm saying is like in my field, you can't make mistakes. Like there is no room to make mistakes. You know, like somebody else could go to work and forget to do something and they could come in the next day and just fix that mistake or they could um, make a mistake and it never get fixed and nothing happens. But in the nursing world, it's not like that. If you make a mistake, depending on what the mistake is, you probably just cost somebody their lives. Or if you make a mistake, you probably just got your license taken away. Even if somebody's life wasn't took in. And it is, I work in the ICU, so everything is so crucial. Everything is so timed. Time, you have to be, you have to have a good time management. Because if you give a medication that you, if you don't give a medication that you were supposed to give an hour ago, you just cause somebody a seizure. You, call, you just cause somebody high blood pressure, low blood pressure. Like everything is crucial. And you have to be focused because if you miss anything, you just, could have cost somebody their life or you could have just caused somebody to be in great pain that they didn't have to be in great pain for had you just realized you have to critically think you have to be one step ahead all the time because you have to anticipate what's going to happen before it happens and you have to always try to stop it from happening and being in the ICU I do everything. I do everything. We don't have a tech, at least not in my IC. We don't have a tech. We don't have a CNA. Good morning, y'all. So, today I am at the park and I am about to go get my workout in. I am going for a walk today. Like I told you guys, I'm doing the 75 hard. So I have to be active for 30 minutes every day and it have been challenging, but we're doing it. We're getting it done. Um, I literally just got here to the park and um, I'm about to go on my walk. I don't know if you guys know, but I have like this, um, I have this thing on TikTok that I'm doing 
which is like a series of let's undo our bags and um it's basically me working out talking just running my mouth and just you know trying to keep myself accountable because i'm i want to like document my journey for myself and if it inspires somebody along the way then praise be to god um but my goal is to keep myself motivated um i just got here to the park like i said i'm about to go for my walk i actually have to work tonight so i'm only limiting myself to one hour of workout because i have to go and then my church is doing um this thing they're like a fundraiser they're selling plates to help the pathfinders go on a mission trip and i ordered food from them um just to show my support and also the food be good too so um i um i'm also gonna go pick up my plate but not right after because it's my church and i want to look at least a little decent you know so i am gonna go home i'm gonna shower and then i'm gonna go get my plate i never took you guys on my walk with me i only take tiktok on my walk with me i'm not gonna say i never because i have before but i rarely take you guys on my walks hey you guys so i'm checking in i've been talking to tiktok this whole time but i'm checking in we just hit a mile um not too long ago so now we're working on our second mile I don't know if I told you guys this, my YouTube family this, but I am currently like inactive on um, Instagram. And this is my reasoning behind it. It's not because like, I felt like it was just too much changes. Cause a lot of people are complaining, like, you know, it's changing a lot, which is true. And they feel like, they can't be their true authentic self because it's like you have to be perfect on TikTok and Instagram. But I decided to take a break because I wanna like, okay, it's just like a source of motivation for me. What I wanna do is I want to be so consistent in working out. I wanna drop this weight. I wanna look and feel healthier. And then I wanna go on back on Instagram like, yeah, I'm back different body who this type vibes like i said it's just for motivation and purposes only like i just wanna i just wanna do it like it's gonna motivate me to stay consistent it's gonna motivate me to you know make sure that i get it done y'all you know, because i do be losing the motivation i'm not gonna lie I completely forgot about y'all. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. I, I forgot about y'all. I just finished um, my round. I did 4.95 miles. So I'm just gonna round it up to five miles. And I was yapping away. My sister came and I was talking with my sister. And then um, I had a lot to say on TikTok today. I was just running my mouth. Yeah, I was just yapping away. I was just yappy, 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 yappy. <laughs> on tiktok i just felt inspired and i just felt like i needed to share it with somebody and i was just yapping away on tiktok um but remember how i was telling you guys that i need to go pick up my um food for the fundraising i'm going on to my church um well i don't need to do that no more because my sister also ordered a plate and she's gonna go pick up her food so she got me so i don't have to worry about that i'm just gonna go home and i'm gonna shower i am drenched in sweat y'all like my eyes are burning because i'm sweating so much and it's 85 degrees y'all imagine like being in 85 degree weather with a jacket on <sighs> like bro i don't know what i be thinking sometimes honestly but um yeah so i'm about to go home i'm about to drink some water i am so thirsty i didn't bring no water with me i am dying of thirst and then i have to go to work tonight so um, I'm gonna go home, shower, and get into bed and go to sleep. I haven't even ate breakfast, but honestly, I'm not hungry. I probably eat like a little something just to keep me going. But I'm gonna make room for my plate because I ordered oxtail, rice and peas, and I I want to say it's a side of macaroni, but I don't know. I don't know if it's if I really got that. But anyways um yeah 
I know that's a heavy meal and I don't want to eat two heavy meals in one day. So I'm going to have a very light breakfast. Oh, I, I'm going to make a smoothie. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a smoothie. I love my smoothies, y'all. I make such good smoothies. Ah, my smoothies are chef kiss. Okay. So I'm going to make a smoothie. That's what I'm going to do. I got too many hoes. Yeah, you like to put that shit in your nose.